Hello, watching friends, and welcome to the 10 Minute Book Talk. I'm Rachel Linden, and I'm here with my co hosts, the wonderful Marie Bostwick and Catherine Ray. And today we get to be with the always delightful Bethany Turner, who we love to have on the show. Uh, she's been making us laugh before we started filming, and we're still going to laugh after, I know. So, Bethany, can you hold up your beautiful book? Do you have a copy of it? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm traveling, and I don't have it, mine. It's okay, hold on. I'll grab a bookmark and we'll hold it oh, real close. Hold okay. up a and bookmark. A of you know why? Oh, there oh, it good, is. Good, good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That works. All right. <laughs> the book <laughs> talk with no books. A book talk you with no what? books. What is this? Bookmark talk. Okay. She go. sold them all. It's so popular. She sold That's all. That's it. Them. it sold it out. out. Well, I that that I'm used to this, it has come out. But anyway, <laughs> Brennan and Sebastian, this is going so great. Brennan and Sebastian hate each other. A love story. We want to talk about that today. So Bethany, I adore your books. They make me smile. They make me laugh out loud. They are hilarious. And there's always a, a depth to them that isn't just fluff and fun, but makes you feel good and makes you walk away going, oh, with a restored sense of humanity. All the things I love in a book. So tell us about Brennan and Sebastian hate each other colon, a love story. <laughs> um, yeah, these are two characters who are basically um, polar opposites. Maybe, maybe not. We'll get into that a little bit more. But um, when we meet Bren um, Cornell, she is the brand new co-host of Sun Up, which is America's number one morning show, you know, think the Today Show, that sort of thing. And she is, um, her nickname is America's Ray of Sunshine. And she's just the person that people love to welcome into their homes every morning and is beloved by all and everything she touches turns to gold. So um, meanwhile, Sebastian Sudworth, his past is a little more of a mystery, but we know that he's a um, a, a, a very well-respected journalist who kind of walked away from everything several years ago and has found himself in this little town called Adelaide Springs, Colorado. Um, well, on the first week of Bryn's um, show as the new co-host, she um, basically gets caught on a hot mic um, tearing down this town that she grew up in, Adelaide Springs, and just, you know, it's bad enough what she says, but the worst part of it, of course, is that um, the America's Ray of Shun Sunshine has revealed her dark side to the world and um, has revealed herself to really be a bit of a mean girl. And um, just in an instant, her career begins to tank. And so the only way to kind of begin to redeem her career and her reputation is to try to go back to this small town and convince them that she's nice and then the rest of the world will believe her. I love this. I love it. This feels like it's totally something that could absolutely have happened and perhaps has happened from time to time. We're such, you know, everybody has their moments, right? And we are in such an age where if you blow it for an instant, any good thing you did before is just gone. So I, yeah. I find this extremely relevant, um, but it, it's just such a great setup for the story. So I'm, you know, curious, how did you go about this? It seems like it's a sunshine versus grump trope, but it might actually be a grump versus grump trope. So tell us more about that and why you decided to go that direction. Yeah, it, it's it's really interesting to me, these two characters, because Bren is very much the, I mean, on paper, she is a textbook sunshine to the extreme. Like she's made her career and her living off of being a sunshine. Um, and yet she's kind of miserable. And um, when the cameras are off, or she thinks they are, um, you know, she she is kind of the grump. And Sebastian, meanwhile, is very, you know, he's, I would say he's a, um, he's a recovering grump. Maybe we could put it that way. Uh, you know, he has really been in some low times and definitely has been a grump. But part of his um, journey before we get to meet him has been really pulling his life together a little bit and finding solitude and peace that he never really had before mm -hmm. and health, really, and mental health. And so um, so by the time we meet them, you know, Sebastian definitely comes across as this stoic, studious, grumpy, at times sort of guy. Um, while, while Bryn comes across as this absolute sunshine and neither one of those things could be further from the truth and where they actually 
you know, maybe, so what we were saying, fake sunshine and, and so yeah, let's go with, it's the trope of fake sunshine and recovering grump, I think is our, our trope on this. I think, um, it's, I think you've made a new genre. Uh, a new genre. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you, when I was reading it, I loved the town. So I looked it up and it's not real. And when I invented a town, I did it so that I could return to it. And you've created a charming town. So I want you to tell me a little bit more about how you structured it and why you created a town. And then please tell me we get to visit again. <laughs> um, well, Adelaide Springs, Colorado is definitely, well, it's the first fictional town I've ever created, first of all. Everything I've written has been New York, Chicago. I'm usually big cities, that sort of thing. And I knew this one. Obviously, we needed a small town feel. Um, and I, I didn't know of a town, you know, our small town towns, we don't know as well as we know New York. I, I can't go, you know, Google map that quite as easily and figure things out. So um, so it became evident pretty easily I was going to need to create this town. But as I created it, there was such fun and freedom in it. And I really, I completely fell in love with this town. You know, I, it offers, it's also just my first small town that I've written. Um, and there's such a warmth and a home feeling that it just radiates from it. And that was something I absolutely loved. So to your to your question of that it was it became pretty evident at least in my mind pretty early on it's like oh no I'm not done with these people um I I knew that we had to go back to them and thankfully my um editor agreed and so we have um actually my next book that I'm in edits on right now that comes out in 2024 is a couple of side characters that we meet it's it's not a series it's it's not a sequel it's just in the same world in the same town of um, two of these friends that we meet as side characters to Brennan Seb's story there in Adelaide Springs. Fun. Does it have a title or not yet? It does. Can I've not share? publicly released it. Okay. it. I don't, don't know, but I will. I'll Ooh. give you guys the, I'll give you the exclusive. I the that scoop. Time. We have the we exclusive. The scoop. <laughs> yeah. So of course this one is Brennan and Sebastian hate each other. The next one. Um, no, sorry. I have to say the whole thing. Brennan and Sebastian hate each other. A love story. Love story. Um, our next one is Cole and Layla are just friends. A love story. So I love um, it. great time. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited about it. It's like, um, and it, it's really such, and it's also the first friends to lovers I've ever written. So I'm having fun with that. So yeah, these people in Adelaide Springs have just opened up all these new things for me. So it's been fun. So fabulous. <laughs> Forward to that, as always. Now, I'm curious with Brennan Sebastian, I'm getting the feeling, I'm not all the way through the book, but I know they're in this, they're both having these character journeys. They're both having these journeys of self discovery, you know, coming into relationship, coming into all sorts of things. Um, what, what has informed those character journeys for you? And then what are you hoping that readers relate to? Mm. You know, I, um... I've been very upfront about the fact that um, this was a hard book for me to write and only because of where I kind of was in my life at the time. It was kind of just a nothing, you know, not dealing with anything on the scale of anything that, you know, but just I was in a darker place, honestly. And it was one of those where I was really struggling to find the joy of it. And it was funny as I kind of went through the um, journey with with Bren and Sebastian, but obviously particularly Bren, as she um, needed to find this healing and um, and really it being this found family aspect. Um, and, you know, because Bren is someone who has felt maybe of her own doing, mostly, that um, she's alone in the world and she's on her own. And if she's going to survive and she's going to make it, it's up to her. And the beauty of these people of Adelaide Springs who are furious at her, make no mistake. And, you know, she has to work to get back in their good graces, no doubt about that, but they never turned their back on her. And um, so I think for me, I found such healing in that it's not that it necessarily just paralleled what I was going through, but I was able to kind of feed into to Bren a little bit, like the feelings that I wanted to feel myself of, of this support and which I do have support. I'm making it sound so dark. I have a great support group in my life, but but just kind of making that. So I think that was the main thing. So um, I think, you know, just kind of that you're not alone. 
kind of feel is definitely a big aspect of it for me. And another one actually is the, and we were talking a little bit about this before we went on camera, ladies, you know, the, in our society today, we tend to write people off for their one week moment or their one, you know, moment that's caught on tape that shouldn't have been. And so there's actually, you know, there's a line in the book. I don't remember it exactly, but something to the effect of, I don't know about you, but I sure wouldn't want to be judged for the, what I said when I thought no one was listening. Mm -hmm. And I, and that, that really resonates with me of, of, um, you know, we all need to be struck. We need to strive to do better, but we also need to strive to do better in um, how we treat others. And um, I mean, it, you know, it, it treat others the way we need to, we want to be treated is still just about the greatest advice a society could ever receive. And it's based in kindness and love. And so um, watching Bren and Sebastian kind of walk through those lessons a little bit. Um, mm. I think there's something for all of us in that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Love yeah. that. All right. Well, I'm going to give you the last question that we ask every author. And that is, Bethany Turner, what is bringing you joy today? You know, I promise I'm just not trying to suck up being with you three. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to goodness, like I'm that. like, I we've laughed more in, you know, 15 I minutes know. than I think I had laughed in three days. And, and I'm just, I'm so grateful for what, what you all do, but I, you're just such a joy to spend time with. And so thank you for supporting authors and supporting books and all that. That is truly bringing me joy. Just a little time with you. We love it. I want you to hold up your bookmark. Yes, hold up your bookmark. Okay. <laughs> bookmark. There's that adorable, and it is an absolutely go. adorable cover. Oh, such Everybody's, a great cover. You're going to enjoy you wanna, this. You know what stuff. I want, Bethany? What do you want? This, go get some more books. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to have a good idea. Interviews. Bethany, get more books. <laughs> like, here, here, I have this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Bethany, for taking the time to be with us. Readers, if you're looking for a all the things we've been talking about book that is going to make you feel more human, more happy, and um, more have a little bit more joy in your life, then go get Bren and Sebastian Hate Each Other, a love story. And we look forward to the next one as well. Thank you. And tune in next week for more 10-Minute Book Talk fun. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.